With stress, there are various forms of, of yeah. stress. W what are the, the different forms? Well, the, so we can look at stress on, on three different levels. One is the physiological stress response, which is when you're under stress, under some kind of threat, some kind of challenge, stuff will happen in your body. Your hypothalamus, which is the master gland in the brain, will release certain trigger chemicals that will alert the pituitary gland at the base of your skull that will then send messages to your adrenal gland. And the adrenal gland will then release the stress hormones, cortisol and adrenaline. So that's called the HPA axis, hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. Okay. Just straightforward physiology, releasing and ending, culminating in the release of stress hormones, adrenaline and cortisol, which are good for you because adrenaline gives you more energy, speed, strength, and cortisol gives you more um, sugar so that you have more energy to escape or to fight back. Okay. Good stuff. Okay. In the short term. In the long term, those same hormones, if continually released, will make you ill and even kill you. So that adrenaline will elevate your blood pressure, constrict your blood vessels, cause, you know, uh, heart disease, strokes, and so on. Cortisol will thin your bones, undermine your immune system, ulcerate your intestines, put fat on your belly so you're more likely to get heart disease, makes you depressed, and I think mentioned, I mentioned suppressed immunity and other factors. So the, the stress hormones in the short term, necessary for survival. Chronic stress, however, creates illness, inflammation, and death. Now, that's the physiological stress response. Then there's the external stressor whatever triggers the stress. So if a saber-toothed tiger were about to lope into the studio right now, uh, you and I would both be stressed. Right. As I we, would jump in front of you. Yeah. I, would, I would block it for you. I'd block well, it thank for you. you. Yeah. I'm very grateful for that. Uh, but, you know, good thing we should be stressed because we want to be able to fight or to escape, <laughs> you know? Right. So, but that's the external stressor, whatever that is. But there's no universal stressor. It depends on who's being stressed. And, and that's because there's a third aspect of stress called the processing apparatus. And that's you and I with our particular histories and inter interpretations and templates. 